धन्यवाद श्री के राम मोहन नायडू Thank you honorable speaker sir for giving me an opportunity to participate in this important debate I stand before you with immense pride and joy That's okay na no? I think both are on I stand before you with immense pride and joy as I reflect upon the recent successes of ISRO Chandrayaan 3 which is the world's first mission to successfully land on the lunar south pole and Aditya L1 which was the first satellite mission to study the sun Sir these achievements are not just a milestone they are a testament to the unwavering dedication hard work and remarkable journey of our nation space program fueled by the tireless work of our scientists engineers and our support team at isro sir i was thrilled to watch on tv the awe inspiring launch of chandrayaan 3 which happened in shri harikota which is in my home state of andhra pradesh it is an experience that filled my heart with pride excitement and joy the sight of our spacecraft ascending into the cosmos was nothing short of breathtaking it was a moment that resonated deeply with every indian and a moment that affirmed our status as vishva guru i also would like to take a second and appreciate all scientists including the telugu scientists who have contributed to the chandrayaan mission what makes chandrayaan 3's triumph even more inspiring is the journey that led us here it reminds us that failure should never deter, deter us instead it should propel us to return stronger Chandrayaan 2 faced its own challenges but our scientists and engineers demonstrated an unwavering spirit of resilience and determination so they refused to let adversity define their journey and their efforts bore fruit with the resounding success of Chandrayaan 3 in the words of our visionary leader Sri Chandrababu Naidu garu every crisis creates an opportunity and those who fight in those situations will emerge as leaders this is precisely what our isro scientists have demonstrated to the world they have seized the opportunity overcome the challenges and emerged as leaders in the space exploration program respected sir as we speak about the successes of isro to first name the first name that comes to the young minds of this country is a beloved former president abdul kalam ji sir commonly he is commonly known as the people's president also we have all heard inspiring stories of his association with isro and it is an honor for tdp as sri nara chandrababu naidu garu the then convener of nda was the one who proposed and supported the nomination of kalam as the president of our nation and i am certain that dr kalam had he been among us today he would have been filled with immense joy and satisfaction seeing the success today he also preached to this great nation to dream big and achieve big but sir isro not only dreamt big but it dreamt of the impossible and achieved what no other country could today it's now upon the central government to take these great technological advances and breakthroughs and use them for the benefit of 140 crore people of this country sir and i take immense pride in serving under the leadership of chandrababu naidu garu who encapsulates the above thought brilliantly i would like to highlight certain programs where our leader engaged with isro to help resolve issues faced by the people of andhra pradesh when he was the chief minister sir the lightning alert system which was initiative launched to help warn people about possible lightning and staying safe sir and it was a lot of uh, beneficial program for uh, my constituency of shrikakulam as it is a cyclone prone area and envisioning the use of satellite imagery for crop health monitoring yield protections and crop insurance payout sir and the government is today using it for pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana also and building spatial dashboards to monitor big development infra projects like polavaram and other ones sir monitoring ground water levels and actively working with young entrepreneurs to develop technology that can benefit the common man we should also acknowledge the rapid growth in our private sector's involvement in the development of space technologies over the last few years young startups like druva space satsure digantara skyroot aerospace bellatrix and many others across india have achieved remarkable success over the last few years i urge the central government to actively engage assist and tap into the potential of such organizations to accelerate our country's overall progress in space research and satellite technology i also applaud the government for launching programs such as atal tinkering labs and legislation such as anusandhan national research foundation act 2023 that are aimed towards fostering the spirit of learning and scientific temperament in our country sir sir before i conclude 
I would like to bring the attention of the House to the case of Sri Nambi Narayan, a stark reminder of how motivated, petty vindictiveness can uproot and put back years of scientific development and innovation. It puts fear in the hearts of people and discourages them from carrying forward the works of their leaders, lest they be termed traitors to the nation themselves. Even though he has been cleared of all the charges, the years lost fighting the allegations took an obvious toll on his health and reputation, sir. The country lost out as well on the possible immense contributions this brilliant mind could have made to our space program. Sir, we live in strange times when Thank the you. corrupt are putting the honest and sincere in jail, sir. We see a similar chain of events unfold in my state of Andhra Pradesh, where our beloved leader, Chandrababu Babu Naidu, who worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, Please. have been jailed. Sir, if I am speaking anything unparliamentary, you have the right to expunge it, sir. But I am not speaking anything unparliamentary. Please. Please. Within my limits of being a parliamentarian, I am speaking in this house, sir, who has worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, has been jailed on trumped up charges, which is an obvious case of regime revenge litigation. What incentives do young leaders like me have when honesty is being impeached? On the other hand, another leader from my state, surrounded by psychophants, will be celebrating 10th year anniversary of being out please, on bail please. this 23rd September for looting our country of 43,000 crores, sir. <coughs> sir, respected sir, we need to fix our system no, before please it conclude. is taken for granted. Sir, please, two lines and I am please concluding. Please conclude, please conclude. Concluding, sir. Sir, many of them who have benefited from CBN's policies and leadership over the years have come out on the streets to show their concern over his arrest. Not only in Andhra Pradesh, but in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, not only in India, but cities across USA, UK, Australia yes, and many other countries. Now there is support pouring in, sir. Through you, I appeal to the members of this August House to raise their voices one collectively one against the grave no, no. injustice and one blatant assassination one, one, one second, of democracy one, one second. unfolding in Andhra Pradesh. You please, he is not speaking anything unparliamentary. Within the, no, please, you can dispute it. You can dispute. Suppose anything, no, no, anything unparliamentary objection, it will be looked into. But unnecessarily, you don't create noise because you can very well dispute it after when your turn comes. You, no, 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 no. He is comparing Nambi let Narayan's me, let case. Me conclude, no, no. Sir. Let me conclude. Please, please, let him let complete. Me conclude. You conclude. You let me conclude, sir. Yeah. Last, last four and a half years, I am seeing, sir. The members of parliament after, from after, ICP, after his their speech, only you agenda can is to you stop can me say. and my members from speaking. There is nothing else. Yes, yes. I'll just conclude. Very last point, sir. As I conclude, I am reminded of Martin Luther King's quote: "Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, sir." Thank you, Jai Hind. Save the Thank you very much, Sri Pradap Sarangi ji. No, no. You give your name when your turn. No, no. When your turn comes, you can speak. Honorable Chairman, sir, I thank you 